So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm dealing with clover. Actually, I'm dealing with anything that's got a leaf on it. There is a product called 24D. A lot of people just call it a broadleaf killer. Specifically, it goes calls it 24D, and it is a product that you can spray. It will soak in through the leaves of the grass or the weeds, and it will not affect your yard at all. And I'll take you through step by step of mixing it up, what products I use, what kind of sprayer I use, and I have a a lot of property to spray and I got a really great thing to do it with so let's get busy guys all right, so one of the things I invested in a few years ago uh, because of the size of my property is I got a John Deere 45 gallon tank uh, with a boom that extends out like so don't want to kink my hose line and I have five spray nozzles and my boom is 10 foot wide uh, and with the spray nozzles I am shooting a path about 12 foot wide uh, this thing works fantastic also if I want to work on specific areas I just flip a valve here and I can use the hand wand and this thing has an adjustable sprayer to where it'll shoot out a mist real wide or it'll take it down to just a real narrow stream and that stream I can shoot probably 30 to 40 feet in the air really is a great system I really like it so anyway one of the reasons that I like the 45 gallon tank is it helps me very simply do a lot of my math um, it's not exact but it comes out very very close a lot of the products that you use you do three ounces to a gallon so if you've got a gallon of product which I'm getting ready to use it works out almost perfectly to put the whole gallon in the tank and then fill up the other 44 gallons with water and that's almost a perfect ratio uh, for the blend that I need to spread this product. The same thing is with the Roundup type products. They do three ounces to the gallon uh, as a general rule and so it just makes it so easy. I don't have to worry about doing the math. Uh, when I go to spray, I just buy everything in the gallons and, that, and I just pour it in and rock and roll. So first thing I'm going to do is get my product poured in and then I'll start doing the water. And as you guys can see, I've got gloves on. Um, I treat some products like the Roundup. They're very, very dangerous. Uh, you want to be very, very careful with all of those because everything I'm told, they can even penetrate in through your skin. Your skin cannot protect you. So uh, I treat all of the chemicals that I use that way. And so I try not to let anything get on my skin and I obviously don't want to breathe it in. So uh, anyway, that's the reason for the gloves. All right, let's get busy. All right, as you can see, we are just playing the waiting game, filling it up the rest of the way with water. And I hope you can see this. Um, the tank is marked and you can actually see the fluid levels when it, when it starts filling. But you've got the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45 uh, gallon markers. And anyway, obviously I'm gonna take it all the way up to the top. Okay guys, we got 45 gallons of product to work with. Hey guys, I wanted to just follow up earlier in the video. You see where I was using my sprayer and putting down 24D. Well, this is the example. This is just a little over a day later. You can see how the four leaf clover is all scribbling up and you can see it is not doing a thing to damage the tall fescue. And this is a really great way to thin down the uh, uh, all your mess and not uh, hurt anything with your fescue. It will kill anything with a leaf on it. You can see all these areas right here, but uh, it uh, absolutely will not hurt your fescue. So it is fantastic to get the raw leaf kill work done. Uh, we've done a bunch of properties and all of them have turned out great. 
So now, uh, especially this year that we've got rain, last year we had a drought and we couldn't do our normal fall maintenance, but this year we have had the rain, so uh, ground's in great shape. So coming up soon, we'll be doing the core plugging, uh, overseeding, fertilizing, and all that kind of fun stuff. So be on the lookout. Remember here at Project Next One, as you know, there's always one more. So guys, thanks so much for watching my videos, and I will catch you on the next one.